or pyridoxine is a water soluble vitamin found naturally in many foods as well as added to foods and supplements. Pyridoxal 5 phosphate or PLP is the active coenzyme form and its benefits are well known. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to discuss about its effect on anxiety and depression. Taking high dose vitamin B6 supplements has been shown to reduce feelings of anxiety and depression according to the new research. Scientists at the University of Reading measured the impact of high doses of vitamin B6 on young adults and found that they reported feeling less anxious and depressed after taking the supplements every day for a month. The study published in the journal Human Psychopharmacology Clinical and Experimental provides valuable evidence to support the use of supplements thought to modify levels of activity in the brain for preventing or treating mood disorders. In the current trial, more than 300 participants were randomly assigned either vitamin B6 or B12 supplements far above the recommended daily intake, approximately 50 times the recommended daily allowance or a placebo and took one a day with food for a month. The study showed that vitamin B12 had little effect compared to placebo over the trial period, but vitamin B6 made a statistically reliable difference. Raised levels of GABA among participants who had taken vitamin B6 supplements were confirmed by visual tests carried out at the end of the trial, supporting the hypothesis that B6 was responsible for the reduction in anxiety. Subtle but harmless changes in visual performances was detected, consistent with control levels of brain activity. It's important to acknowledge that this research is at an early stage and the effect of vitamin B6 on anxiety in their study was quite small compared to what you could expect from the medication. However, nutrition-based interventions produce far fewer unpleasant side effects than drugs and so in the future, people might prefer them as an intervention, the researchers noted. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.